Hey amazing hackers, I'm Tor Hat from HM Cyber Academy. Today we will be seeing business logic vulnerabilities section. Okay. In this series of videos, you will learn business logic vulnerabilities or you will die trying. So let's get started. First of all, what are business logic vulnerabilities? Let's see what Portsvigar says and we will try to explain it further. Okay. So business logic vulnerabilities are flaws in the design and implementation of an application that allows an attacker to elicit unintended behavior okay so this is what business logic vulnerabilities basically are which means the vulnerability is in the design and implementation okay but you can say uh, everything is design and implementation right let's understand with an example okay so let's say i have a brilliant business idea because I'm a genius, obviously, but I don't know a thing about uh, how to design or implement the logic of the application. Okay, mainly the logic. It's not the design or implementation itself. It's the logic, the flow, the workflow of the whole thing. Okay, I don't know a thing about it, but I want to build the application anyway. So what's going to happen? I will be building a crappy application with a crappy logic, right? So someone with a malicious intent like uh, me, let's say, okay, want to bring my business down. So uh, he or she exploits the business logic of the application to buy my million dollar hacking course for less than a dollar. Okay, so they exploit my business logic of the application and to buy my million dollar course for less than a dollar. Okay that has tremendous effect in my business right so similar way design and implementation are crucial for business to run okay so usually it is not the business itself it's actually the logic application logic vulnerabilities and the logic flaws but why they added business is because it will affect the business in a tremendous way by business i mean money okay because business is money right so let's do one of the lab to understand our theory okay let's go to labs let's type business okay here we have it let's see excessive trust in client side controls hmm interesting okay what do we have here it says excessive trust in client side controls and it is an apprentice level this lab doesn't ad adequately validate the user input just by seeing client side don't come to conclusion that it is client side vulnerability okay so it is uh, validating user input okay so it is happening on the server side okay right you can exploit this logic flaw in the purchasing workflow okay so this is where the vulnerability is okay to buy items for unintended price okay to solve this lab buy a lightweight leet leather jacket okay you can log into your own account using the following credentials okay let's access the lab let's close these things okay what do we have here okay we have a few things here okay so this is what we need to buy but let's uh, log into our account and see how much we have okay so Viner and peter log in and we have hundred dollars we can use hmm interesting okay let's go to home page let's uh, see what we can buy to understand the workflow okay so we cannot buy this one because it is too much costly so we cannot buy this so let's buy a cheaper one everything else seems costly okay this is the cheapest one i can see okay so view details and here we have selected one quantity of this product and uh, let's add to cart and here we have added it to cart and let's click on this and here we can see our uh, cart contents okay so we have this and uh, we don't have any coupon we don't have any coupon right and uh, let's place the order uh, our money has been detected and uh, here it says your order is in its way okay okay so we have already purchased this one right let's see the burp suite let's see proxy http history and uh, set it to descending order and here we can see our workflow right and here 
this is the post request which has sent okay uh, so let's see what it has let's send it to repeater for testing and here I see the product ID and uh, redirect to product uh, and quantity one so this is the price okay what is this uh, post request so which action creates this forward slash cart okay so let's try to identify let's see the workflow first and we will understand it better okay so here we are logging in okay so we are clicking on the lo login button and here we are actually sending our uh, uh, post request login okay which means this is Weiner and Peter okay right and later what we did we went to our home page and from here we selected the product okay selected product number two and from here uh, we just added it to cart okay so this is where we see this one right so when adding it to cart let's, let's say something like uh, clicking on this and clicking on this and clicking on this add to cart okay so this action creates this request so what we can do with this request okay we can reuse this request again and again using repeater so what we will do is we will change the price of this application to one okay and let's see what happens okay let's send it okay we have added something to the cart okay so let's go to here we cannot see because we need to reload it to see okay so let's reload and as you can see we have one item in the cart okay so let's click on this and as you can see we have it for one cent okay we have the same product for one cent okay so during the product being added to the cart we have a vulnerability right so let's purchase this and as you can see there is only uh, one cent reduction so total is one cent so what we can do is let's go to the home page but this time what we will do is we will select this uh, lightweight lead leather jacket and this is a beautiful jacket by the way okay and uh, before i click on this add cart and change something okay so what i will do is i will go to proxy i will go to intercept intercept on okay i'll intercept this particular request and if i scroll down i see this huge price okay so i don't want this huge price for this jacket okay so what i will do is i will reduce it to one cent okay so something like this and uh, let's forward it and see what happens forward intercept off right and if i reload i can actually see one product being added to the cart okay let's click on this and as you can see we have a price of one cent for this lightweight leather jacket okay so let's uh, place the order all right as you can see we have a one cent reduction again okay and we purchased this order i hope you understand this uh, simple business logic okay and i'll see you guys in the next one